I, I guess the best place to start is at the beginning. The world's tallest television tower is ready to go on the air at Oklahoma City. With the flip of a switch in 1953, John Griffin took News 9 on the air, changing Oklahoma City television forever. Hi, I am Big Nine. From the studios at Wilshire and Kelly, News 9 broke barriers, bringing Oklahoma City the first female weather presenter. It's going to be the same old weather. There was no tape. There were no teleprompters. The first black news anchor. The very first time my presence appeared on TV, the switchboard lit up. And the first woman to co-anchor a primetime newscast. I'm, there was one male reporter in the newsroom who didn't think it was such a good idea. And he went around telling people that the newscast was going to go to hell because of it. Some of our industry's greatest technological advancements were born in the News 9 weather department. We brought viewers the country's first commercial Doppler radar in 1981. Let's quickly check Doppler radar. And in March of that year, used it to issue the nation's first tornado warning live on air. We've walked alongside Oklahomans on destructive dates, markers, and time we will never forget. May 3rd, 1999. The damage is absolutely incredible. May 20th, 2013. This could easily turn into a mile-wide tornado. There is an elementary school that was hit. I asked if there were kids inside that elementary school. He said yes. Calls with live eyewitnesses. going to put them on the air, OK? Send them to the control room. The biggest story that happened, I think, in that newsroom. The explosion at the federal building, apparently. Was the Oklahoma City bombing? I'm Tammy Payne of the TV9 Newsroom. If you are anywhere downtown, you've probably heard it and felt it. Wow. That look at that shot. Holy it cow. is absolutely incredible. We were able to get the chopper down before they closed the airspace. About a third of the building has been blown away. And I'll never forget Robin Marsh being on the air. We've set up with about probably three to 400 volunteers here. News 9 was on the air for five days straight. No commercials, no breaks. For nearly 70 years, we've had the honor and responsibility of bringing Oklahomans news that's changed us forever. Several officers are now running up to the post office. A couple of ambulances and the fire rescue squad have moved in. News that hit close to home. A, a plane carrying eight passengers and two pilots uh, did crash. Including uh, the voice of the Cowboys and our buddy, Bill Tiggins. Hearts are just breaking right yeah. now. The company just kind of continues to evolve to really what it is today, which is a, a statewide multimedia company. We're unique in America. There's not another company that is dedicated to one state. The companies that we compete with are all large multi-billion dollar companies that have hundreds of television stations. But our goal has been to carve out our little niche. And in a state that we're from, a state that we love, and a, a, a place that we call home. One last time at Wilshire and Kelly, I'm Storm Jones for Big Nine, Newsline Nine, the spirit of Oklahoma. More local, more meaningful. On the scene, on the story, Oklahoma's own News Nine.